Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio, so today we need to have a little bit of a look at some new products. The lovely folks over at GameStop have gone and revealed some more products which are coming, and frankly, ladies and gentlemen, I am a little bit excited. So let's start off with some tins featuring Coridon EX and Maridon EX. Now, as I'm looking at this at the moment, I'm not seeing a release date here. Not seeing any release date on there. No, wait, no, I see it now. June the 9th. There we go. They're coming out on June the 9th, and they're going to retail for $35. You're going to get five packs. You're going to get the promo. Jobs are good. And we've seen tins like this before. But there are a couple things that are very, very interesting about these tins. Firstly, they're alternate art. Here is the Maridon tin next to the regular Maridon. You can see very clearly there. Oh, look, it's alternate art. What's he told me it was alternate art? What's he want lying, ladies and gentlemen? What's he want lying? And then here is the Coridon next to the tin. So you can see there very clearly different artworks. Jobs are good. And. But also, this is good and it's quite quick. Now, if we start off with Maridon here, because Maridon is clearly the star of the two. Maridon's like legit great. Like genuinely, legitimately a great card. It is very much one of the best cards in the game in the Scarlet and Violet era. And I know we're early. I fully understand that we're early. But even at this early stage, this is one of the best cards in the Scarlet and Violet era. It's amazing. The ability Tandem Unit says once during your turn, you can search your deck for up to two basic lightning Pokemon and bench them. That's great. Because it means that, you know, one Maridon gets you two bench Pokemon. But that could be a Pokemon and a Maridon, which gets you two more, etc. And, and you can just fill up your bench with this, which is awesome. But then you've got the attack Photon Blaster for 220. And then, of course, it's a basic Lightning Pokemon. Which means that you can boost this up with Reggie Lecky's ability to do an extra 30 damage. And we've got that Electro Generator card coming in Scarlet and Violet. Which lets you look at the top five cards of your deck. And you can grab two basic lightning energy, if you find two basic lightning energy, and then attach them to your bench lightning Pokemon. So you've got good energy acceleration. You've got a way to buff up your damage. And that's just the attack. We've actually got a phenomenal ability here, which lets you get all of it. But basically, you search out one of these and you just fill up your bench straight away. This is a phenomenal card. Having easy access to it is great. Because there's basically two things that happen here, right? Number one is, you can just go and buy the tin and you've got Maridon EX. That's good. Number two is, it's all right. Because even if you don't want to buy this, you can just take advantage of the fact that the price will be lower. Like, having a promo Maridon will bring down the price of regular Maridon. And this is just awesome, ladies and gentlemen. This is absolutely awesome. I'm a big fan, and if I may say so, you probably should be too. Now, as for Coridon, Coridon I don't like as much, and I don't think that's a particularly controversial statement. The attack is the same two-coloured, one-colourless energy, 220. The problem here is you don't have a nice way to beef up damage like Maridon has, and you don't have energy acceleration like Maridon has, and that's why it ends up being a worse card. You do have the ability Dino Cry, lets you search for two basic fighting from your discard pile and attach them to your basic fighting Pokemon in any way you like. But firstly, you've got to get the energy in your discard in order to make this work. And secondly, it ends your turn. So you really kind of need this turn one, especially if you can get this rolling turn one going first. That's way better. But then, of course, you run into the problem of... We need to get your energy in the discard before you can use this. I do actually really, really like this with Ting Lu. And we now do have official confirmation Ting Lu is going to be in the second set Powder Air Evolved. And yes, we've even got the Ting Lu booster pack artwork. Yay! So this is kind of amazing. This is lovely. We like this. And Ting Lu's got an ability that turns off the abilities of non-EX Pokemon that have a any damage counters on. So you kind of want to keep Ting Lu in the active. And if you haven't got enough energy, you're ending your turn. So you might as well try and use Coridon to accelerate energy to it until you're ready to start attacking with Ting Lu. So I like it for that. That's kind of awesome. 
these tins are good. And I know this is kind of predictable. Hey, it's scarlet and violet tins. Let's go ahead and blah, blah, blah. Don't really care, ladies and gentlemen. This is good. We like this very, very much indeed. These are awesome. We're big fans. Go team, ladies and gentlemen. Go team. So yay. This is awesome. The other thing which has gone and been revealed, well, today, is a new trainer's toolkit. I love the trainer's toolkit. I am a huge, 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 huge fan of trainer's toolkits. I've been talking them up at every opportunity. And I'm going to recommend very highly here that you, that you go and pick this up if you get a chance. According to the lovely Primal Lugia, this is again releasing on June the 9th. And it's going to retail for $40. And I love that you've got the images on the front. So there's 150 cards, which is lovely. You've then got, I want to say, four packs, 65 sleeves, a book, six damage counter die, a flipping die. It literally says it underneath. I'm an idiot. Uh, two condition markers and a V-star marker. And yes, I am fully aware that this is a trainer's toolkit built around a V-star. In a world where we've moved on to EXs, that's not escaped me, ladies and gentlemen. Don't really care, honestly. Doesn't bother me at all. Because I hope the trainer's toolkit's always been a little bit behind. And that's okay. They're supposed to be a little bit behind. They give us cool cards. The last one we saw gave us Luminion, which was extremely cool. I'm a big fan of that Luminion. We generally get an alternate art of a playable card in here. And here we actually get two. We have Arceus V and Arceus V Star. And there are several things we need to point out about this. Firstly, hey, hang on a second. There's two exclusive art promos. That's awesome. That's better than normal. Secondly, hang on a second. Japan hasn't even had this artwork yet. The fact that we're getting this artwork is ridiculous. How did that work? That's really weird. And it is really weird, incidentally. It is very weird that we're getting this artwork and Japan hasn't. Because I've made this point before. Like When we're getting Sword and Shield exclusive promos now, Japan is like fully into the Scarlet and Violet era. So it's kind of weird at this stage that Japan would be getting any more Sword and Shield cards. That doesn't make a huge amount of sense. So these could, and we don't get them often, but it does happen where we get some cards that Japan just never gets. Uh, actually, Hygon Suitcase had two amazing cards that Japan never got. There was the pre-release promo Kangaskhan and the pre-release promo Tapu Lele. Both Hygon Suke, both cards that Japan actually never got. That could be the case again here, because I don't see where they end up going over in Japan. But as some of you eagle-eyed people are going to notice, Arceus V-Star is wrong. That's not what Arceus V-Star does. Arceus V-Star does not do 120 and accelerate free energy. Arceus V-Star does 200 and accelerates free energy from your deck. And this is a huge deal, of course, because your average Pokemon V has 220 HP. And you're going to be playing Choice Bout. So this will then essentially, with a Choice Bout, get a one-hit KO on the vast, vast, vast majority of Pokemon V. 200 is great. Buffing this down to 120 is horrendous. That's a huge difference. The good news is, the lovely Matthew Varive immunity on Twitter has pointed out, if you fiddle around with this look at the box, you can actually see that the Arceus on the top here does do 200, which tells us it's already been fixed. It's not the easiest thing to see, but you can actually see up on the top of the box there, they have made this card that does 200. Shout out to Immunity for getting a, a better picture of this. That is awesome. So yes, it is a correct one. I would be very, very surprised. If this was the only look we got, then I would think, oh, maybe it's actually gone into production with the error. But it hasn't gone into production with the error. We have got a fixed version of it. So don't worry about the Arceus V-Star. It has gone and been fixed. But the fact of the matter is, these are alternate art cards. Here is the V compared to the V. And here is the V-Star compared to the V-Star. And you can see here that these are very much alternate art cards that Japan has actually not got. And at this stage, I do think it's fair to say, might never get. Uh, we've had a look at the inner box. I, I have nothing to add about this. That's what it looks like. And here's what it says on the back of the box. 
Turn your card collection into playable, fun, and competitive Pokemon trading card game decks. Inside this box, you'll find a plethora of trainer cards and energy cards, plus a deck builder's guide to putting them all together to create a deck that showcases your best Pokemon. You'll find everything you need to help you make the choices every deck builder faces. More big Pokemon? More strategic trainer cards? How much energy is too much? Steer a course to completely new decks, original combos, and all the fun of the head-to-head -head competition with the Pokemon TCG Trainers Toolkit. We've seen this before. Four booster packs and a $40 product, yeah, fine, I get it. But that's not really terribly important. The 150 plus cards is what's important. Because essentially, this is a product which has a whole bunch of good staples in. We've seen a few trainers toolkits now. And look, you know at this stage, the second we get a look at the inside of the trainers toolkit, I'm going to show it to you, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I do. But right now... I can tell you that we've had these before. Here's a look at the one that had Crobat in. Now, this is put together by our friends over at Alpha Tyrant TCG. And if you have a look there, Boss's Orders, Professor's Research, Escape Rope, Ordinary Rod, Crushing Hammer, Quick Ball, Rare Candy, staple after staple after staple. Um, here's an image of the one that had the Dene in. And again, you'll notice Marnie, Professor's Research, Boss's orders, quick ball. You see where we're going with this. It is full of staples. You'll also notice that Dedene has two Dedene and the Crobat has two Crobat. Now we've got two different ones. That's the big difference between this and the ones we've had previously. I love this. And my recommendation is generally always go and pick up the League Battle decks and the Trainer's Toolkit. And between them, you're going to be able to make a bunch of good decks. That's going to be what I'm saying going forward. The Mew and Palkia V-Star League Battle Decks combined with this is going to make a great, great starting point. And I get asked moderately regularly, hey, Wossy, if I want to start playing Pokemon properly, if I want to start playing competitively, what can I do? What's the best way to do it? And my answer is going to be, go and buy those two League Battle Decks, go and buy the Trainer's Toolkit. Jobs are good and ladies and gentlemen. Jobs are good and Right, there we go. That's what you need to know, ladies and gentlemen. And now it's over to you guys. Tell me what you think about these products. Tell me if you're going to be picking them up. Tell me anything you want to tell me in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Pokemon, card games, Pokemon card games, all kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord, all kinds of fun things. Oh, and you can get shoutouts on the channel, like the lovely Trevs99, who's been one of our supporters for a little while now and is a very lovely person. So thank you very much to them for being a lovely person and for all the support. But by far the most important thing as always... Look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.